Good morning, loved ones. I hope you had a good night's sleep. I did uh, have a good night's sleep, uh, finally. That means that the, the full moon is, uh, is over. <laughs> I'm very, very grateful today um, for my amazing friends. I am... Um, uh, I work and and spend a lot of time with them and they are um, they are extremely intelligent enormously kind very very funny and uh, very good looking <laughs> not that that is important that that was actually the, the last part was a joke although it's true but um, I was thinking about that because It's, you know, it's a, it's a natural part of my world now, but I also remember a time when I didn't have that friendship, you know, that kind of solid, um, true friendship where I could be exactly who I am and be loved by them with my flaws and strengths, you know, like I... I love them when they are a little weak and, and they love me when I am. It's a very beautiful friendship, and I'm so, so grateful for that. Um, it's also extremely stimulating. It's not, you know, I don't, I don't lack anything with, with them. So I feel very, very grateful for, for having amazing friends, girlfriends. Um, I have amazing male friends too, but, but I know it's a little bit rare to have so amazing, you know, girlfriends. Uh, I'm also very grateful for my beautiful little daughter who's with us today. I'm hoping she's not gonna cry. Um, you. It's hard, you know, to have a working mom when you're so young. You're so little and your mom is working, huh? Not very much though, but a little bit. Um, and I'm very grateful for my family. Um, that's also something that you easily take for granted, you know, when you, especially now I think in these COVID days, you know, maybe we, maybe we spend a little too much time together and, and then you get, you know, annoyed and, um, and stuff like that. And you start taking each other for granted instead of really appreciate each other. I was having that conversation with my boyfriend yesterday, uh, that, you know, we have a little bit of a rush rough tone to each other sometimes because I think we're both a little bit bored um, and when you spend so much time together instead of, of seeing each other's qualities you start to see each other's um, weaknesses and focus on that and and um, we, we, we I think raising that subject is, is you know raising awareness around it and then you can start actually working on that uh, so we uh, changed the tone and we um i think we you know i love him and I, and uh, he's amazing in every way and i'm so happy that we both gone you know through therapy and uh, and have different you know tools to deal with our our uh, insecurities and um, our habits because it's also very bad habits like i am you know used to be alone a lot not having to take um, um not considerate you know other people so much and now i'm in a family of five six with penny um so it was a great conversation and i feel like it landed really well you know with us both so if you're in a similar situation i suggest you know that you speak with each other have a solid conversation. What would you like? You know, what is important to you now in these testing days? Because it is testing to to have your whole world like upside down. Um, so, yeah, communication is key. And love, of course. <laughs> a little love can heal a lot. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do some yoga. Get down on your sitting bones and straighten your back up. Close your eyes and focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking in it. Let this eye help you observe what's going on in your body and in your mind.
We're gonna start taking control over our breath. On the inhalation, feel how your belly is expanding. On the exhalation, drag your belly button towards the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. We're gonna do the breath of fire and we do that by pushing our belly button towards the spine. Quick and hard. Inhale it to start. Very good job. We're going to do the hip roll. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Switch that position. Beautiful. From here, we're going to come to all our fours. So, place, fix this. There we go. Place your knees straight underneath your hips. Place your hands straight underneath your shoulders. We're going to do the cat and cow. Hello, love. Mommy loves you. My little gem. On the inhalation, come forward with your belly. Look how we have to see. On the exhalation, come down. Inhale.
We're going to come to uh, the child's pose to stretch out our back. So come down here. And breathe into any tensions you feel in your back. Very good job. We can come back to Taylor's position. Don't eat her, her uh, shoes. Huh? She's been eating two pairs uh, of shoes of Gemma's. Uh, we're gonna do a twist of the spine. So place your left, your right hand on your left knee, and look over your right left shoulder. back to Taylor's position and we're gonna finish this class with a short meditation. Close your eyes, focus on the area between your eyebrows, the third eye looking inwards. Let this eye lead you to the area around your heart. In this area you find that in the room where you're gonna spend some time just for yourself. There is nothing that has been and nothing that will come. It's only you in this very moment. Om Paramatmane Namaha Sri Patanjala Yoga Darsharam Atasama this class together with three shanti place your palms together in front of your heart and inhale to start shanti 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 place your palms to your forehead feet your finger towards it to the to your mouth for you to speak the truth and to your heart for you to follow your heart and to be kind to yourself and to other people. Namaste. Thank you so much for today. Remember to go out and give. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.